Some breaking news. We have brand new video of the head of the Wagner Rebellion, Yevgeny Prigozhin, seeming to meet with his fighters in Belarus. Welcome to hell! The video was posted by a Wagner-linked social media channel. NBC News cannot independently verify if it is indeed Prigozhin and when or where it was filmed. But if it is recent, it solves the mystery of where he's been and raises the question of what's next. NBC's Josh Letterman is following the latest on this for us. So, Josh, what more do we know about this? Well, Chris, the story of Yevgeny Prigozhin keeps getting weirder and more mysterious. If you recall, the last we heard from Prigozhin, the Belarusian leader had said that he, in fact, never had gone to Belarus as planned. And we saw Prigozhin in that bizarre three-hour meeting in the Kremlin with President Putin uh, just weeks after he had mounted that attempted rebellion against the Russian leader. Now he apparently is in Belarus, according to this video, which, while we can't confirm when it was shot, it is believed to have be, been sometime this week. And in the video, he tells his fighters, who are now apparently in Belarus, that essentially we're done with Ukraine. That what's happening on the front lines, he calls a shame and says, we don't need to be part of that. So what are they going to do instead? He says they are going to train the Belarus military to be the second strongest military in the world. Interestingly, he doesn't say who he's referring to as the first most powerful military. Presumably, he means his home country of Russia. But he says, after after that, we're going to embark on a new journey into Africa, which is raising a lot of questions. We know the Wagner Group has been very active in Africa, in the Central African Republic, uh, in Mali, uh, some of the reporting that Richard Engel has done recently. But then Prigozhin leaves open the possibility that at some point he and his mercenary group may return to fight in Ukraine if the situation improves there. But this is really adding to the mystery about what is happening between him and President Putin. We heard today from the leader of MI6, the British intelligence service, saying even they are unclear about exactly what's happening, Chris.